Yeah, welcome to another Java E tutorial. In this video I show you how to use resource bundles in JSF. A uh, resource bundle is basically a property file in which you can store text messages, for example the text of a label. It's always better to store text in those resource bundles instead of hard coding them into your code. You have many advantages of this, you are very more dynamic you can easily translate your texts in other languages and yeah to start using resource bundles we create a property file in our java resources in our source folder uh, file which is called yeah you can call it however you want i call it text dot properties so it has to end with properties because it's property file and JSF will pass it it will search for property a file with the end property so in this property file we will write hello is hello so how can you use this you go to your index page uh, sorry for you we need to declare the resource file so you have to load oh, sorry the bundle into your, your you have to declare which bundle you want to use so f load bundle which this is the variable name it's most uh, yeah often used msg for messages and the base name is text because we just added it to source text. If you have some packages here, you have to write the complete name like you do it for a class. And yeah, now it's mapped in our uh, in our page. In this page, only this page, you can use it. And we can call it like that. We use I use an output text and the value. Sorry, the value will be yeah you use the expression language to access your property file and here you write hello uh, msg dot hello save this and here is your hello so if I change this to hello two for example it would change here as well so what can you do with this? This is uh, really basic as for now, but you can make this more advanced. So you can say we take parameters here. For example, we say we want to say hello and a name with it. We would write this. This is a parameter. We can give the resource bundle and it would access it was and it was and it would pass through the parameter to our property file and put it in here so we have to change this so for using a parameter we can't use output text we need to use output format which uh, which needs a parameter we pass through this parameter with the f param and the value will be the parameter so we will write hello John Doe and now we refresh this and the parameter was replaced so we had write hello now uh, so the first parameter and it was replaced so this is how the resource bundles can be implemented the resource bundle has have one really nice feature which is the translation so I will make a copy of this file and call it underscore de now I go into my face config and add some attributes here first we need an application context and then and then we need a resource bundle so when we declare this resource bundle in our faces config it will be declared as global so we won't need to declare it 
in every single page, which is a nice advantage. So this is again the same as we written, have written in this line, so I can delete, delete this. Now we declare this globally and we also want to declare the translation part. So we want to declare we have different languages which are supported. So we define a local config and here we define supported local which will be DE for German. We added a text property with underscore DE and our default location is oh, sorry, is yeah, English US which will be this property file so change here hello to the German word for hello and what would happen now? Now my browser is in German because I came from Germany so I will access this page and just refresh it and it's German it automatically took the German property file the English property file is still hello if an English people would join my page he would get English or if the language is unknown he would get the English one you can also add many other property files with many languages and it would automatically took the right one for you and that's all about the message properties for now it's the basic usage of it and it's a really fine way to program your application with using those dynamic resource bundles I hope you understand it. If you have any questions about it, write a comment and I hope I see you soon.